What's up guys, Sal here. So a new smartphone has appeared on Geekbench with model number SMG960F, which is the model number for the Galaxy S9. So it's running on Android 8 with the latest Exynos 9810 chipset. It posted a single score of 2680 and a multi-core score of 7787. Those are very impressive numbers, especially in the context of the phone the S9 would replace. The Galaxy S8 had a single score of 1978 and a score of 6375 in multi-core. Right now, the best performing Android phone we've ever seen is Samsung's Galaxy Note 8, which had a multi-core score of 6564. And that was with the benefit of 6 gigabytes of RAM. This new Samsung phone that popped up on Geekbench site had 4GB of RAM and still outperformed Samsung's current flagship. So yeah, even though this is a pre-release Galaxy S9, the scores still place the phone among the best Android smartphones on the market right now. And there's still a lot of time for the S9's launch, so Samsung will surely make tweaks to increase the performance. A new alleged image of the S9 has surfaced which shows the back of the device and it is 100% fake. Someone photoshopped the back of the Blue Boo S8 and has put Samsung's logo on it. You can clearly see the horrible editing and it's still quite early for such images to appear so yeah, it's fake. According to Ice Universe, the Galaxy S9 will ship with a new AKG headset and it's even possible we're looking at a Bluetooth AKG headset here, at least according to the provided info, though nothing has been confirmed just yet. Now the mention of Bluetooth headphones probably didn't sit well with some of you as that might mean that the 3.5mm headphone jack will not be present. Well, according to the source, that won't be the case. The 3.5mm headphone jack will find its way to the Galaxy S9. Now in addition to those audio related rumors, the source also shared some camera info as well. He says the Galaxy S9 will sport a vertically aligned dual camera setup on the back and the camera will use an anti-glare BBAR layer ghost technology. Now you'd be like, what the hell? Well, the BBAR stands for Broadband Anti-Reflection Coating and this is a special sort of coating as it fights glare and dual images and that's probably what the source is referring to by the mention of the word coast. This is nothing new though, pretty much every major phone has some sort of anti-glare coating but there you go. So let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow, peace out. Okay.